All right, let's look at running a contour check. First off, you're gonna need something that's hooped. You choose that because it's really easy to see the center and it's one of the parts of the assignment is to run it on this glue. Okay, so we're always centering the first needle. No matter how many colors you have, you're always centering this needle. So you come out to the thing, you hit one. Okay. It's going to move it just like that. And right now I got lucky, it's centered. So I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna mix, mess it up a little bit. There we go, cool. It's messed up. All right, now. Over here. There we go. I got directionals. And by going like that, it moves the first needle around. Notice it's quite fast. In order to slow it down, I click the center button and now it moves really, really, really slow. Okay, so get it to the general area that you need it to be and then click that button and then micro scotch it to the center. So now the needle is in the center. All right, in order to dictate that that is home I go over here and hit the home button and say set start and then enter and then enter good uh, I will run this contour check it should fit in this size hoop so let's let's go for it so it's already loaded into memory if you do not know how to load anything into memory, please see the video called Loading the Design into Memory. All right, let's go to Home. Let's go to Contour Range Check. Enter. And it will move it around. Okay, so what you're looking for is to make sure that this needle isn't bumping up against any of the green. And it should go back to zero. If it does not, you'll have to repeat that entire process again. Good, so that is running a contour check. It's very important that you run a contour check. If you do not, this needle will hit the green and break the needle. Not hard to replace, but it is very bad for the machine. So I hope you enjoyed running a contour check.